avocado. If you stretch your imagination a little bit, it kind of looks like a male testicle. And indeed, the word avocado derives from an ancient Aztec word, which means testicle. That also explains the reputation that this fruit has for being an aphrodisiac. Well, it's just a reputation because it is a myth. So don't look forward to any amorous adventures to be enhanced if you're eating avocado. But maybe you can look forward to a longer life because of a reduced incidence of cardiovascular disease. I kid you not. A recent study, Journal of the American Heart Association, a very reputable publication, uh, looked at over 100,000 Americans uh, in the nurses' health study and the uh, health professionals' follow-up study. And these people over 30 years had filled out questionnaires every four years about their diet, and they also had reported on their health status. And when the data was uh, examined, it turned out that there was a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and a reduced risk of coronary heart disease in the ballpark of about 20%, which is not insignificant. Well, I guess it isn't too surprising because we know that uh, avocado, while it contains fat, contains mostly monounsaturated fat, oleic acid, which does not raise blood cholesterol. So uh, by all means, smear avocado on your toast instead of butter. But remember that in this particular study, uh, the data showed that the people consumed avocado, used it instead of butter or cheese or yogurt or margarine or eggs or processed meats. So it was not adding it to the total diet. It was replacing some foods which contain saturated fat. The only people who may have some concern about using avocado are ones who have a latex allergy because botanically the rubber tree and the avocado tree are related. So it is possible to have an allergy to avocado if you have uh, previously had an allergy to latex. Also remember that uh, while the avocado has uh, monounsaturated fat, which is, is beneficial, it is not fat free. So it's not calorie free. An avocado has about 320 uh, calories. And there's one other thing to remember, as we always mention, that an observational study like this can show an association, but it cannot prove a cause and effect relationship. So I enjoy avocados. It's great to put into your salad, but the important thing is that it should be used as a replacement for something else, not just to keep adding avocados to the diet. And that for today is our cup of joe.